Let's go, Daniel. Ooh, these guys are my best. Bro, what, is, what is Moxie saying, bro? <laughs> what what is it Moxie <laughs> saying? Moxie's saying he's always saying everything. Yeah, I think I, I think the the flights for Saudi are at like weird times because of the the heat during the day. Right. Um, they okay. have to land at specific times or take off at specific times. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. Oh, so the plane just melts. Like, <laughs> I think it's like turbulence. I reckon it's ah, like dry yeah, yeah. hot dry air is very turbulent. Yeah, yeah. Let me get a chat up so I can see what everyone's spamming throughout the series. So, who, who have you got winning this one? I should have asked I've you before got, Daniel scored. I've got Daniel. Oh, no, <laughs> no, I actually um, <laughs> no, I just. <laughs> so, I played, I played Nuapo in, uh, in 1v1 the other day. Um, yeah. And he was great, um, to be honest. He, like, this guy is just naturally talented, I think. And he, I, well, he, he's naturally talented as well, but he's put in so many hours in the past, like, I'd say, eight months. Um, there's, it was pretty clear to see that he was going to be sick. Um, yeah. He's just one of those players that's going to be able to do it all and, you know. It's, it, I think it just depends. I think if, uh, I call him Naupo, but you call him the Wapo, but yeah, whichever goes. I, I think it, it depends what kind of player we get today, because I think if he peaks, I think he wins. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, mm. He plays, or he reminds me of Drally. He just like chases everything. He's blisteringly quick, and Daniel yeah. did struggle with Drally because they were just a bit too aggressive, sort of like how Moxie plays now. Mm -hmm. Oh, which by it's the way, strange, I've got to ask yeah. you about Moxie before we get stuck into this mm. series. So you played him when he was on the Road to Rank 1 grind? Yeah, yeah, on his yeah. Alt, and you were like very surprised to find out it was him. Like, what, yeah. what changes has he made to his game that surprised you or, you know, caught you off guard? What, since then or...? Or, or you'd say, or so like... what about like when he played on that account, first of all? Oh, okay, yeah, I mean, he was just... Obviously, he was playing like 10 hours a day at this point, like, because he... Well, he was playing... He, he got it in one day, he got ranked one in one day. Yeah, yeah, 13 um, hours So he was... Yeah, he was playing for like 10 hours at the point when I queued into him. So when someone's playing for 10 hours, I think he was like in flow state and he was just like... I think he's like the best 1v1 player, like... If if he's peaking, he's in my opinion, he's quite far the best because he has he has like oh almost he has like my level of like understanding of ones, which I know it sounds egotistical, but I don't think there's many players out there that have agreed. And I'm, I've never seen that out of anyone. And then he also has like I don't know his flicks are way better than mine have ever been. His shots, I don't know. He's just his like flick, no, his flicks are ones. crazy. I don't know what, how he figured that out. Like the setup is so quick. It's oh insane. my god, yeah. No, it's, it's crazy. I mean, like, obviously, I used to have really good flicks, but not not like that. Like, I'd say, like, 70% is good. And the, the setup was about 50%. It's, it's just timing on the yeah, flicks. Yeah, it's, it's the setup. It's just crazy. It's so quick. It's it's not defendable unless you pre-jump, like, a year in advance. Yeah. By the way, Daniel's defending really well. I know. <laughs> this is, I this know. is immense. <laughs> and it's not like... I'm going to butcher the name 24-7, but it's not like Noapo is attacking badly either. Yeah, these are some He's, tough shots. Yeah, he's going. For, yeah, yeah, he's going for a lot of variety. So Daniel's doing well. So you say, is. oh, that's yeah, that's a goal. Did you notice anything like recently about Moxie, like another level up? Was it just the the flicks uh, recently, or is there anything else? Um, again, it's just like one v one IQ. Because obviously he he was he was a good player before, but mm -hmm. he wasn't like at the top. It was only in the last like four months, I think, maybe. Yeah. Or maybe a little bit he, longer he was, than that. I'd say he's like he was very nervous because he could clearly get mm -hmm. ranked one. Uh, he did it a few times in ranked, but it never really fully translated to show matches in tournaments until more recently, where he was like he'd lose a bunch of game fives or like wouldn't make it as deep in a tournament as he should. Yeah. Didn't he win? What tournaments did he win, Moxie? Uh, recently, I thought you won one. Did he win? A, did he win a fear tournament? And you won a bunch of show matches on my channel. I was like, okay, yeah, he's a lot more confident now. Oh yeah, and it's oh nice shot. Very nice. And he's um he avoids demos and bumps like no one else. Oh crazy. yeah, but like, I can't yeah. get the guy. And I, my playstyle ones heavily relies on bumps and demos. So it's like when someone can't when I can't get someone, it's like oh I have to rely on just beating them naturally. And yeah. that's always like a risky thing you want to do because everyone's good at the game, you know. I notice you do that when you play Khaled. You don't really play as physically. You just play yeah. Rocket League more because so, he's very good at that or dodging. He, he, He's very good at dodging. I also I've played him. He's like I played him the most out of anyone, any opponent ones, like by far. Um, so I, I just know it. Yeah. Nice shot, nice shot. I just know what he's gonna do every time. It's really it's, yeah. it's quite fun playing them now uh, in ones. Obviously two to threes is a. Did you play him at all while he was in um, Europe? Unfortunately, I didn't. So I've not played one equal thing. 
You, you got so you got to catch them when you're in. Uh, so oh yeah. yeah, you got to take them out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I'll take them out. To be honest. If, it, if it, you know, beats me if we're even on high ping. I mean, these guys they they always talk about how you know different it is. It's going to be way better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it will be different. I'm sure. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody's takes on that. Okay, so back to the present, Daniel Naipo. Naipo definitely the aggressor, but now that Daniel's trailing, he's putting the pressure on. Okay. And does tie. It's been a very aerial -y game so far, which that shouldn't be surprising. No, both of these players like extremely comfortable in the air. Uh, especially Daniel, you know, when I played him, he's just going for, you know, 10 flip sets a minute and he nails every single one, so Ooh. this isn't surprising at all. Nice 50. Oh! Ooh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, that's one of those plays where Daniel's like, well, I guess I can't really be too upset about that, but also this is not ideal. <laughs> yeah. He's like, well, yeah. I've cleared Andy. it, but, you know, so what? It's still terrible. That's what it feels like in ones. It's like sometimes you clear the ball, you're like, why am I doing this? They're going to score anyway. <laughs> and I'm just wasting time for them. Like, yeah. Sometimes it's actually better to give them the goal, I feel like, but obviously you can never do that. You never know what's going to happen. I've noticed that, you know, some players will just go... I, th I think it's smart, in, especially in a game that's at a lot of midfield back and forth, to just go completely all in if you're like losing by three in the last mm. minute. Just, yeah, why not just go totally all in? Because at least, even if it doesn't work, you've got kickoffs to oh, yeah. work with. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh if you're my. losing a game, that's pre jump. You know what? Daniel is quite scared at the moment, I feel like, in the air, because Noapo is pre jumping every single one. And he's mixing the pre jumps yeah, look up. At this. Look at him go, man. Very efficient with it. Oh, that's a good flick, though. Well played. Wow. Well played. That's very impressive. He's, yeah, he's like just hovering there, saying, "All right, you're gonna flick it. You're gonna flick it." Daniel's like, "Yes, I will." Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got a lot of height on that one, though. The thing is, he doesn't have much momentum when he's doing that play. You know, when he's just stationary in the air trying to pre-jump. So Daniel can just flick yeah. it and make him up. But yeah, do you oh. think that there's? Uh, I, I think there's a place for that pre-jump. I feel like having no forward momentum or backwards momentum is a bit risky. You're not able to shadow or challenge, you're just kind of there. I think he's got this. Oh! oh! He had the mind God. game, but got away from him a little bit. Yeah, that was close. <laughs> oh. I think game I one is important that. for our Saudi Arabian player here because he's lost against Rawas recently on my channel. He's lost against Razier's as well. This is no you know in a row, but he's got it. You know, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, that's, that's absurd. That's it's Middle, East, it's Middle Eastern players, man. I swear to God, they have. It's like they're built for this game. <laughs> it's like they're built for this game. It's actually ridiculous. Yeah, I know you. You highlighted or you spoke about. I can't remember where it was. We either spoke in private or it was on your stream uh, about about Naipo and Rawas specifically. Um, what do you expect for their next season in RLCS? Like, do you think they're, I, well, I don't, I don't think anybody knows, but if they team together, do you think they're going to challenge Falcons? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, these guys, you know, Falcons are amazing, an amazing team. They're only getting better, but that's only going to improve the other players in the region. You know, if these mm -hmm. players are practicing them against them every day, um, some of these players, in my opinion, they're like ridiculously naturally talented. That They improve so fast, especially in Rappo. So like, you can see them catching up. They're going to catch up for sure. Um, I think Falcons will still be the dominant team, but I don't think they'll win nine regions oh, again. No, no shot that they win nine. Because that's they ridiculous, can't. man. That's ridiculous. I don't know how they did it this season because they had three lower bracket runs in the past two. Like three out of their last six were it's lower actually bracket. Nuts. You know, I don't think any. I don't think any team will do it again. I don't think any team out of Europe or NA would have even done it. The reason I'm not saying that the Falcons are just better than everyone. That's why they're not. That's why any other team wouldn't have done it. It's the fact that it's so hard to do it on lower brackets that the chance of it ever happening again no matter the team it's just yeah in my opinion. i reckon it, it, there could maybe be like an apex super team that could do it oh yeah like a super oh, yeah. team in apex because they've kind of actually spread their talent around in apex south and north so they you yeah know, detonator and verdi were fighting in north and then uh until the i think you know, how many regionals did the uh, gladiators lose somebody in chat might know they might have only lost one um, yeah, someone on chat will have to let me know about that one, someone who watches. I don't really, uh, I don't really pay much attention to APAC because they're, they're actually not bad players. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot. They're actually not that bad though. Um, they're improving. You can see a massive improvement from Fall. Yeah. They won eight nice. apparently. They were one off. Damn. They won only eight. 
Imagine not letting go. Uh, imagine that's that's pretty poor. <laughs> I don't think he got that flip. Oh, he did. Oh, he did. Yeah. Of course, he got the flip. It's, it's, um, it's just not fair. Sad, but he's gonna. He's definitely yeah. getting the flip every time. How old is this guy? 15 now? Yeah, he's just turned 15. He played spring split of the last... Oh, that was great fake by Daniel, but he missed. Uh, yeah, he played He played spring split for the final... Um, well, just the final split for Mina with... Um, sure. Who did he play with? Ali and Venom, I think it was. Mm. Am I right about that chat? Was it Ali and Venom? It was, it was, yeah, I think it was. I've, I've heard that. I've heard that. Yeah, collab. Nuapo... Ali and Venom, they were pretty sick. Oh wait, what was this kickoff? I looked at chat for a second. What it was a wave dash kickoff, very good. Oh yeah. yeah Prime I'd... Party Jack right there. Prime, <laughs> Prime Party Jack in the Fennec. No one's getting past him on the kickoff. <laughs> you've, not, you've not had any Fennec appearances in ones recently. I thought maybe um, you were going to bring it out against AJ Game 5 yesterday. Yeah, I, I was looking to switch to the baton build. Um, <laughs> the thing is, I, I think I think I'll switch to Fennec in off-season. It depends how long... Um, how long we have? Yeah. Um, the reason the reason beard is because obviously I'm very good in nice shot, nice beard. Obviously I'm very good in you know in Fennec in ones, uh, but obviously if I can translate that to threes, I think I'm gonna I'd be a better player. Yeah. Um, but even if I can't, for some reason, whenever you switch back from Fennec to Octane, you just reach a new level. Um, for so, that every time I've done it, I, it, it just yeah. makes you better mechanically. So, oh my god, that that's interesting. interesting. I kind of get that though, because even as a terrible player who doesn't play that often, like you just have weird days where you're like, I can't play the game. It feels like you've got heavy car bug or something, which is obviously not a real thing as far as I'm concerned. But then you switch to Fennec, switch back, and you're like, wait, I'm insane. <laughs> yeah, it actually yeah. does work. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Using the placebo to to the best advantage. Oh no way. Oh no way. Oh, if you oh. pulled that chain recovery off. Wait, Daniel's kind of left it open though. Daniel, nah, where are you going? <laughs> Yeah, that was close. Uh, remind me of some, myself there a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel's really oh. showing up for this game. Oh, he's just missing it. No. <laughs> he's going to get it. No. Oh. Okay, that's composure after totally beating it on the goal line. Daniel yeah. in full control, though. He's putting really, really dangerous shots near the net or on the net. And check that out. Double reset. No, not a good save, but he's not overextending. He's able to do that and still be controlling the next play, which is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, he's definitely playing well this game. He's definitely uh, he's going for a lot of aerial attacks. I mean, Nuapo's not pre-jumping as much, so maybe so lost a bit of confidence after Daniel scored a couple. And this is a good 50 here. Yeah, he's got to see that Daniel's not really going all in for any of these shots. He's he's thinking about plan B, he's thinking about the recovery, which makes sense on a two-goal lead. That's sneaky. Should be a goal, surely eventually oh he's actually slowed down briefly here but still daniel's in a terrible spot and it will be a nice goal try. Nice that, try. that was yeah. all from the pre-flip just surprised daniel yeah you gotta expect it coming out of these guys i mean i always say it when you're playing on you know as high of a ping as 120 sometimes these guys can get up to um no he's on he's on 100 right now but when you play on that high ping you have to you have to play very proactively instead of reactively yeah um and you have to you have to ball chase you have to pre-flip into a lot of balls um that's why they get so good there and then when on land you know you just you're like oh they just beat me to every ball <laughs> yeah same with furia and the south american mm -hmm. teams they're always just so fast it was always like the organization the rotation that was their problem never the mechanics yeah. and the the speed which middle east is just taken to a new level because I think they get better practice on EU than Sam do on US East. Just a better server yeah, for them to definitely. connect to. I think oh, as well, like teams like Falcons, you know, how long have they been teamed for? Obviously, it's a different roster now, but uh, like a card and Ahmad, go be four years. I think they're like a couple of days. I mean, it depends if you want to only look at the time that they were signed. Um, if you go by the nah. time that they were signed, then they they signed to an org called Oshtech Warriors before yeah. they signed with Sandrock and. If you use that as your date or reference point, then they're the second longest standing uh, duo in Rocket League after Garrett and Justin by like uh, one month or something. But I know That's that crazy. before that, they did play together in tournaments, just not with an org for longer. So if, if you're going officially, they're the second longest standing duo. Unofficially, they're the longest uh, standing I mean, duo. I'd say, you know, that they were a team before. That. Yeah. They were playing tournaments. I, I'd count that. But even if not, they're gonna. I reckon they'll be the longest. 
I reckon they'll stick longer than. Or is that a, is that a prediction or a leak? Is that rip energy? No, it's nothing. It's just <laughs> a, a, I think, hey, Johnny, absolutely, you cannot try that with me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just think that they have more. They have more recent, like, reason to stick. Yeah. And and they oh, they love trash each other. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nice shot. I've got to give credit to Nepo here. He saved two double resets, but Daniel follows through with a dunk on this one. He went That's for it as well. He boosted trouble. the entire time. I mean, he's going, you know, thinking, okay, there might be a dunk here. If not, I'm stealing the boost. So, again, Daniel, exactly. got, he's got the exit plan every single aerial attack. He's never all in. Exactly. I mean, like you said, I mean, people are going to think, you know, he completely meant for the, went for the dunk there, but he's boosting as well. Even if he doesn't get the dunk, just to get that left corner boost and boost out of him, so... It's, he's just covering all options. Well, that's some redirect, but it's not going to be enough. That's game two for Daniel. And they did go for a best of seven, so both players wanted that. They want to make sure that they're getting the most out of this series against each other. So mm -hmm. are you going to revi revise your prediction? You said Daniel at the start of the series, it's going to be 1-1. Uh, have you seen anything to change your mind yet? No, the, the reason being is that we all know Daniel's, you know, the the... Oh wow. <laughs> that's cheeky. That's pretty yeah, that's cheeky. We all know that Daniel's, you know, the more experienced ones player. Yeah. Um, and player in general. I, I think having that experience you you're gonna be able to adapt more. Yeah, what is he like um, three months older? Big diff. <laughs> yeah, but you know what I mean. I know what you mean, I know what you mean. And uh, he's got that, you know, he's been playing once for longer. I reckon he adapts better than Rappo does to him. Oh hold on, hold on. We've got some news. Rel's saying that Daniel's playing the show match on a one four four hertz laptop in his hotel room. You're joking. That is crazy. I would never have known. I mean, he's looked on form today. Yeah, I mean, fair play to him. He's not used that. He's not told you. <laughs> no, he didn't tell me. Uh, that's not the kind of... Yeah, Daniel would never, like, try and take away from an opponent's victory. He's a very honorable player. And uh, yeah. he's not afraid of anyone. He, 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 he's, he'll take on anyone. I've got him, like, top 10 worldwide, regardless of the result today. I think he's, he's established himself over a long time, proved that he's a top 10 player. Kind of curious, oh, yeah. actually, Jack. Would you be able to name your top ten uh, just off the top of your head? Top off ten top worldwide head, Johnny, players. Johnny, you're gonna you're gonna get me crucified if uh, you carry on doing this. <laughs> I did I did, um, I did mine yesterday, so we can compare. Okay. Do what? Well, do I have to order them? No, just any any order, any order. Okay, okay. Um, me, Yaris, Moxie, Khaled, TRK. Uh, I'm gonna forget players, man. <laughs> KV one. Um, how many is that? Six. That's six. Um, <laughs> Daniel. Yeah. Who am I forgetting? <laughs> are you? Are you forgetting? Oh, first killer AJ. Yeah. yeah. And one more. I'm. I'm definitely forgetting the big player, aren't I? Um, I honestly, I think that's a. That's nine of my top ten, and then the other yeah. one honestly was like, you can choose. So I think I, I think it's valid. Valid, top ten. For me, Oski. Oski, that's that's a shout. I went for Rawas myself because he went, he won a he won a Young Guns tournament on Fear Channel. Oh, he, yeah, he, he's and great. He's a monster. I just write Oski. <laughs> yeah, you love you do love Oski. You do love. I, think, I, I love Oski yeah. as well. He's phenomenal. No, he, he's pretty stupid. Uh, to be honest, that's a goal. Yeah, <laughs> just launched it right through him. No respect for the pre-jump. Yeah, and it's not the shot. It's not the actual finish that's good, it's the setup there. Yeah. It's pretty much no way you're not scoring once you get that good first touch. Yeah, you Daniel knows that. If he shoot. doesn't like the setup, he won't go for that. He won't He won't settle for a, a shot that's not likely to be a banger. He, he's shown yeah. in the last game that he's always thinking about what's going to happen next. If he anticipates a save, then he, he'll go for something else. Oh, oh wow. No. That's something special from Daniel. I'm sorry, we're going to need to watch that again from Nipo's POV. He's not going to like this, but we've got to see that one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you just got to, when, when you get, you know, scored on like that, you just have to put, put your hands up and say, yeah, fair play. You at can't least, do yeah. anything else. At least, for, you know, forcing the outplay, like, it's one of those positions where yeah. you, there's no point backing off. You're, you might as well <laughs> stick a challenge in. I'm sorry, but Daniel, Daniel was on a 144 hertz laptop and he's <laughs> bar down shots from midfield like four times in the last four shots I think I've seen him try with this and he's hit every time he's just one of those guys one. he gets power every time oh yeah it's like first killer yeah it's like first killer Jans you know those type of players mm -hmm. KV1 even I feel like yeah Ahmad is another one that comes to mind 
He just every you know single what? time somebody passes yeah. to him, it's 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 getting launched. It's different with Fennec players. It's weird for me. It doesn't look it doesn't look as convincing. I don't know why. Did you, when, did like, you see the pace of Ahmad's like, shots oh. at Atlanta? My days. Like, oh every yeah. Time, every yeah, time yeah. he's on an infield pass, he's just zooming it in. It's, it's ridiculous. Oh no, absolutely. He um, yeah, he played crazy. He played crazy. You know, obviously it's one v one now, but you gotta speak about Falcons a bit. You know, it's you know it's a bit weird when, in my opinion, TRK, TRK had the you know least convincing performance, and that's nothing to him. On the um, on the line, you mean? In my opinion, yeah, and you know that's a scary team when that happens. Yeah, that's that's a that's an interesting take. I mean, Khaled was the one everybody was obviously gonna question going in because CRK mm. proved himself at fall, and Ahmad stole the show at fall at various moments. Yeah, but um, that's interesting. So TRK was the guy for you that was like least outstanding. Although they were all pretty close, I'd say. That's what I mean. It's nothing. Nothing. Is What's your honest. order? One, two, three, then. Uh, I, I think Ahmad stole it at the end, to be honest. Nice shot. That's good control. But yeah, I think Ahmad stole it. He, he had... I know it sounds stupid to just put it all down to one game, but he really did. Um, I can't remember what game it was. I think it was against version 1, game 7. Yeah, they were down 1-0. Ahmad he, like, uh, collected the ball and he just 1v2 to tie the game. And then he scored off an infield pass after as well. He stole it from me. Yelled into you the know? camera. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> that was beast. Oh my oh word. My God. Bro, get this, guy, get this guy a laptop for that. Come on, man. <laughs> Actually, what's that shot? Bar, a little bit of the post as well. That is disgusting. I mean, again, we're talking about speed of the setup earlier with Moxie's flicks. He did not waste any time getting up for that shot. Yeah. And I was going to call, you know what, when he, when he hit that first, you know, first touch for the setup, I was going to call, yeah, that, that, that's not going in. It's too high. But just he just... Got up, yeah, he just got up so fast, confidently. And notice the car change as well, by the way. He's made oh, yeah. his opponent feel uncomfortable in that second game, and he continues to dominate in this game. I'd expect a car change back after that. So maybe just looking for that same placebo that you were talking about, switch and then switch back to yeah. just feel better. Does it work going the other way? Fennec to Octane to Fennec, do you think? I think every player is different, you know, but I would say so. Um, yeah, I'd definitely say so because you see players like Yoris. Um, you know, he's a very mechanical player, but he's 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 slightly different on the two cars. In my opinion, he's more mechanical than the Fennec, um, and just that slight change can definitely help switching back and forth. But for me, it's like on Octane. Obviously, I can play solid, but I can also play really mechanical. Whereas Fennec, I can't really play mechanical. I just don't have it in it at the moment. Right. Yeah. It's a different type of mechanics for me, but that's just me. Oh, that's a surprising goal. I thought Daniel would have this. Uh, I, yeah. love the, I love the idea from uh, Napo here with the change of the angle, but that shot was... It wasn't full power. It was lacking a little bit. Lacking Daniel a bit of high, lacking it. a bit of power. And, yeah. I think he killed all his momentum. He, he stopped beforehand. 6-2, though. Yeah, let's see if there. he can do anything here. He's got one more really good chance. He no doubt will go all in for this. Daniel's already up, though. And back down, double reset, no free flip, goal, wow. Yeah. Well, that's a message to Daniel. If he scared Naipo away from pre-jumps in game number two, then that might have scared Daniel away from doing it in game number three. That's pretty nuts. <laughs> to put it, you know, put it simple, that, that's pretty crazy, just to have confidence. I mean, you'd obviously pull goals down, you have to go for it. But that close to the net as well. These players have a lot of confidence, gotta give them that. Yeah, he did get all of the boost there, except I think one pad, so one small one. So Daniel's a bit starved Ooh. at the moment. Bumped Dangerous him. challenge. He's going for it here. Yeah, there you go. That should be a goal. Yeah, so Daniel very overextended. Um, needed to get, I, I, I think, just way maybe one more boost pad to make this a viable strategy. He's just dead, dead in the water there. Yeah, and you can see as soon as, you know, he loses all his momentum, that's just going to be a goal from Napa. Good fake oh. kickoff there from Daniel. Yeah, that one actually... That was a strat Moxie used against you at the end in game, mm -hmm. uh, I think it was, uh, what was it, game five he brought it out and it worked really well? Yeah. Yeah, it, on my kickoffs, on my dive on kickoffs, I like to use pretty much all my boost. Yeah. Um, so if you if you save a little bit of boost, it means you're slightly slow on the kickoff, uh, which you can, you can normally react to the fact you can take the ball back or take it to the side. But if you use all of it, you just have to give it to them or have yeah. to dribble. And once you start dribbling, if you don't get it on top of your car, they just move forward. 
But it looks like uh, Daniel's going to close this game out. He's got to get a move on here. Oh, he's done okay. him. Okay. Nice. <laughs> I think Daniel I've is expecting him. something different here. He's probably expecting a uh, flip set. An air, uh, it's usually a flip reset or air double bump on zero set or like late in the game, but standard air double works pretty good if you're as fast as this guy. Mm -hmm. What's he going to go for with the kickoff though? Just standard. Daniel's so solid. I feel like maybe it would have been smarter to switch it up in some way. I really don't see Daniel like messing up mechanically enough for a standard kickoff to like really heavily go against him. Yeah, but at the same time, I kind of like it. You know, he's not he's not won the game, but it, it shows that he's still confident in his kickoff. You know, once you start losing confidence in in your actual regular kickoff, you've yeah in ones you've lost the series. Um, I was getting pretty frustrated at myself against Moxie because he was I I scored more kickoff goals, but he got more possession off of them. Mm -hmm. um, and once that happens, you just like you, you're pretty much losing already. So I don't mind it. Obviously, he's not won the game, but. You know, even if you start delaying kickoffs here and there, it's it's difficult to score after four seconds. Yeah, I agree. It's going to be a key game here. You know, I said game one's probably quite key. I feel like it's just important that Daniel doesn't go too far ahead because I don't see a big comeback being possible against Daniel. If he's up 3-1, I really don't see there being a game seven. Yeah, he's a, he's a momentum-based player as well, I, I feel like. Um, he, obviously, he's got that, you know, got that clutch, and he can always come back himself. But once he gets momentum, it's pretty difficult to stop him. Oh, is he lining up another demo here? I think he might have been, but he bailed out of it after the ball went in front. That yeah. first touch had another demo written all over it. Though I was like, wait a second here. <laughs> What's <laughs> he up it. to? <laughs> he just I mean, if it's the first touch that him. doesn't have any life in the butt. There's no like uh -huh. life in the bounce. There's like really nothing going in terms of air dribble setup. I'm like, I that's think I goal. know what that is. Yeah, you gotta switch it up. And that's a, that's a good point. I would like to see more physical players come out. Of, to be honest, both of these players are both pretty much going at each other's goal with a defender's um, net and. You know, obviously, you know, if you're a good player, you can do that, but you got to switch it up sometimes. Definitely. Oh, well, Daniel missed the boost. boost. Okay, he's got a bit it. of a bump there, though. Oh, wait, this is a sneaky boost seal. <laughs> That's an investment. Daniel's Double. got so much space off this. Oh, he wanted a triple. triple. <laughs> he's still thinking about the the recovery, though. I think he's going to get it as well. Just covered the near post. He's not got it. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Demo. That's wild. I mean, even after a triple reset doesn't work, I think Daniel actually had the near post covered there. Like, if not, mm -hmm. then definitely very close. What a save. save. I swear my card doesn't do that. <laughs> air, air roll in that way. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if it's the Fennec that makes it look that... It's like what Yoris does. I'm like, mine doesn't do that. <laughs> I wonder, does... Uh, what, what does he use? Does he use both air rolls? Or just one? I, I say that was... Yeah, I'm not sure. That was clearly an arrow left. He didn't use manual for that. That was, that was directional, you can tell. I don't know if he uses both. I'm not paying close enough attention. Most players who only use one, that's disgusting with the wall dashes. Yeah. Most players who only use one are going left. Apart from, like, I know Ahmad goes right in a very unique way when he's uh, aerialing. Mm. He only has one, I think, right? Yeah, he only has right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a strange topic because... You know, some players think you have to have both to be mechanical, like Astral and, and Yoris, and then there's players like Alpha. Alpha's got none of them, yeah. I don't know if he... Does he still have none? I'm pretty sure he still just has regular, like, uh, air roll. Oh, that's some first touch from... I probably had to jump after it, though. Love that yeah. touch from Daniel. He doesn't want to get dunked on. He doesn't want to leave himself vulnerable for the demo. He just chips it. He's so precise with his defense. Wow. He just walked right through, and that's definitely a mistake, though. Boost advantage yeah. for our KSA friend, and he just completely beans it. Yeah, one one all, you know, with two and a half minutes left, it's clearly a low scoring game. Oh, he's messed up the kickoff there. But yeah, like I was saying, it's a, it's a low scoring game, you can't really be taking too many risks. And that challenge right there from the rapper was a, uh, you know, if I hit this, it's a goal for me. If I, if I don't, then it's a goal for him. Yeah. I've noticed that uh, it's becoming more popular to intentionally lose the kickoff to the back corner with the. It's kind of like the, the just no flip kickoff. You flip uh -huh. on the approach and then just drive into the ball. But yeah, make sure just not to get it to bounce straight. You've used yeah. that yourself, right? Yeah, so I, I was the first player that 
I, I've seen do it um, or try it out, you know, ranked. Obviously, I'm going to say that, but I'm uh-huh. sure that was someone else <laughs> before me that, that tried it. But I started doing it, um, I'd say about a year ago now, just testing it out, and it worked every time. Um, I just didn't really commit to it. You can't really do much against it. You always get possession because, obviously, if you're not flipping, it's nice demo. If you're not flipping off the kickoff, you're going to recover faster. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I mean, I, I love all of the kickoff variety. I think uh, it's putting... 1v1 in a really interesting place where there are just so many strategies and some of them counter others, some of them are you know, more solid, some of them are more risky but um, on the topic of threes kickoffs do you think that that's going to become more of a thing next season for 3v3, like more variety and yeah. well, hopefully more safe kickoffs for some teams who have been <laughs> conceding off the back of them yeah, I saw. Um, I saw you made a video on that. I didn't. I, I saw the title and it pissed me off. Because <laughs> uh, I, because I know it's true. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, he, he's talking to all of us. <laughs> and we, everyone, it's so bad. Everyone's just terrible at kickoffs and RCS. Um, it's, it's. I'm not going to say too much, but we've had conversations about it, and you know, we'll be. We'll be looking at some stuff. I like so it, once, I like it. the thing is, once one team starts doing it, everyone has to. Mm-hmm. That's just how you know meta works. So yeah, next season, uh, I'd say almost 100%. Look at the way <laughs> the wall dash is. He's just so smooth. It, it doesn't look like he ever loses control, even though these are positions that he has to be so precise in to dodge the demos. He's just rolling. Yeah, it's mental from that point here. What a comeback! Uh huh. And you know what? He's not. It's not like he's peeking. It's not like he's really feeling himself, and that's why he's been able to pull this, you know, wall dash, chain wall dashes off. It's just that he's. That's just a net. That's yeah, just he just actually just does this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas if I, was, if I was peak, if I was peeking, then yeah, I'd, I'd be comfortable to do that. But if I'm not, I'm not, you know, comfortable. To do oh, that. whoa! Okay. No, no, no. I'm not no. sure about that one. I'm so surprised he jumped for this. He had so much more time. It's always easier to see when you're spectating, but that really, to me, did not look like it was bouncing down, or even close. Yeah, it wasn't It wasn't close. He should have seen that. I mean, as well, 5-3 yeah. up. You know. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I mean, especially with the scoreline. Like, that wasn't... I don't think that was close to bouncing down. Great touch. I mean, I think he's he just, just decided to go for it here. He's just gunning for every single play, not holding back. Does Daniel miss that? He has. A rare... It's a tough shot. Rare it's miss. Tough shot, but he's going to be frustrated. Daniel's still in a great position here. Huge approach. Decides not to go for a big angle, though. Instead, just playing for the boost steal. Okay, he misses it, but gets the demo. It should still be a goal. It will be with that spawn. Well played, Daniel. So, not sure. I, I, I think this might have just been his plan from the get-go, just to, instead of flicking or shooting or bumping, just go for the maybe demo, maybe boost steal. And then a follow-up, but... Possibly, possibly. He could have he he gone for anything there. He had all the options. Full pitch. You know, to you know what? Um, Rock League's a weird game. You can, you can kind of tell when someone's going to score in ones, especially. And he had that kind of like aura about him in, in his corner that it was going to be a tight yeah. game. But can he keep oh, this definitely out? I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not starting a Spiegel in a full pitch dribble. Or right now when Naipo's got a flip reset. Well done, Daniel. Nice. Forced the outplay and Naipo couldn't get it. Now Daniel, one goal away from going up two games this yeah, might be the most important goal we'll see we'll see I think, I think it will be especially given the fact that Daniel said two games in a row here that's, that's good it. wow huge wall shot ties the series Daniel overextends in the back corner lost sight of his opponent lost control of the ball and he's right back to square one we're tied again I mean we knew it's going to be close we knew it was going to be close but I thought I thought Daniel had that one at the end. Yeah, I thought so too. He looked the more confident player going into overtime there, but now I pulled it out. He's some good control in the corner as well. You, you know, he's always always got that ability to just kind of turn the ball around and shoot from anywhere. I think you know it, I was trying to pay attention to his how just comfortable he looked in the car, and you know game two didn't look great from him. And thinking back to you mentioning you know switch car just so that you can switch again. He looked really good in game four. I think it worked. He went Octane for one game just so he could then switch to Fennec. And now he feels like himself again. Yeah. Uh, it's just that little little change. It's all, you know, competitions are 
That's a great 50, like, come on. Wow. Yeah, like I was saying, the competition's weird, you know, little things get inside your head, and just the, the smallest of changes can make all the difference, really. Someone in chat saying this kind of looks like the last series mops in this app, Jack. Uh, I couldn't disagree more. Uh, it looks yeah. nothing <laughs> like it. <laughs> Somebody who casted the entirety, I very much disagree. There's been nowhere near enough of a physical game here for this yeah. to be Moxie app, Jack. It's also you know, been way too aerially. Like, you guys were yeah, so grinding. Yeah. Me and Moxie uh, are pretty similar players. Um, I, said, I said at some point in the series that, you know, it's like playing myself. You were not, yeah, you said you were tilted, but in a good way. Yeah, because it's nice playing sick players, um, but it, it was frustrating as well because it's like I can't do anything when you play well. <laughs> no, you, you know, know what I mean? it's like. Nice. Oh, shot. I love this. I love the popularity of this. It's becoming so common now. It's almost seeing it like once every day I stream. Mm -hmm. It's like that little. I don't even know what to call it. It's, it's a half volley, really, but it looks like a pinch in the setup. You know, I'd love to call it half volley. I'd, I would absolutely love to call it half volley. That, I, I think good... that, one is, that was a clear half volley there, but sometimes yeah. it really does, like, you know, blend between the two. That's a fantastic save. I know it's not. If he I scores this as well, it does. Nah, that's some real. It, it looks it looks simple, but he fakes the squishy save, which forces Daniel to go low instead of flicking it, and then he gets a really hard 50 off of that one, which pinches into the back into the wall there. Because he has more momentum coming out of the inside of this goal. Yeah, is he wave dash on the back of the goal as well? Yeah. So he's got and he he, he knows speed. exactly what he was doing there. He knows exactly what he's doing. Oh, he's actually no going way. for this. This is extremely aggressive. Not a lot of boost to recover with. He's got enough though. I mean, if anyone can make that kind of play work, it's this guy. Yeah. That's a great yeah, reverse he, challenge as well. He reminds me. Of, he's got a bit of Khaled in Ahmad in him. It's uh, it's when when he comes off the wall, he doesn't have to fix himself he just jumps straight into the trajectory of the ball uh, so uh, not a lot of mean, players yeah. have that he's on on spot on on point nice, nice <laughs> that's crazy he actually you know if he hit that shot too high it's not even a problem he would have had a double ready to go i'm not liking the pre-jumps out of these guys now like they're not working yeah they're too they're, they're i think they're both too comfortable with their aerial offense for the pre-jumps to really do too much it yeah. should be like a rare thing. They need to start shadowing, you know, coming from the side and just switching up their defense because it's just getting predictable. So you want to explain to the viewers why like the angle is important as Nepo saves another ridiculous shot. Like uh, why is like coming in from the side a big deal compared to just being underneath the ball and trying to jump up into it? Yeah, so when you're underneath the ball, you, you obviously you're quite susceptible for a bump. Yeah, that's a, that's the start. Yeah, you, know, you you're just having to cover too many options, and that that angle from the side it gives you a wide look at the goal, a wide look at the ball, and just really allows you to see more of what your opponent's doing. It also allows you to kind of change into different um, you know saves. So obviously sometimes you have to jump for a save, sometimes you have to stand the ground and go for a fifty if your opponent fakes it. Whereas if you're underneath the ball, you can't really do that. You don't have as much momentum. That's a great flick and a good follow up. Yeah, you read that well. I know this might not be something you have to worry about or pros have to worry about, but like when uh, when players are trying to learn overhead clears, timing like when to jump and which way to jump is much harder when you're straight underneath the ball compared to if you're like Absolutely. to the side of it and you've got more of a reference point for how fast the ball's moving. Oh, one hundred percent. I mean, I, I got to pro. I got into dignitas and I couldn't. I could barely read like get up to balls that quickly that were going over my head. <laughs> Um, it was the reason I switched from circle boost to R1 boost because uh, it's easier ah. to. It's just easier. I felt like it was easier to jump straight and jump an arrow at the same time. Um, it was direct. It was absolutely for that point just to get up to balls. And they're, they're always going in the air for these challenges. Wow. I actually, I'll tell you, I like that one because he's got a flip yeah, yeah, and yeah. he's got some momentum. But no oh way. my days. <laughs> 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 he's just something else, man. Why is he so confident? This is ridiculous. It's actually a bit scary <laughs> how, how confident you know these players out of out of these i don't want to say minor regions but these different regions they're, they're calling them yeah. emerging regions now which I, like. I, I like it i just I, I just want to call them regions regions other regions yeah, <laughs> yeah out of the, out of these other regions, regions in europe yeah they're equal regions now out of the out of the other regions like other than europe and NA, i feel like every player just has that little bit more confidence it's, it's so strange to see yeah do you, do you think that it's because they have to wait a little bit longer to play an rcs maybe I, I I don't know honestly I'm not sure what like the, for the confidence specifically because it's absolutely true for 
the especially South America and Middle East players. They are just go, go, go. I reckon it might be to do with what you talked about earlier. Like, they don't have a choice. They might as well go. I think it just leads them to play aggressively. And if they yeah. don't have full confidence, if they hesitate ever, they're losing. They're getting beat to the ball. So they just teach themselves to never, never hesitate, never doubt. And it just leads to this. Full, full belief. I mean, how has he gotten back to this one? So, so much boost right, left over. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm literally, every time he gets a flip set, I'm like, yeah, he's not got that one. That, that's not landed. Really? And I was like, it looks like he's hitting <laughs> it with his. It looks like he's hitting it with his front two wheels first every time. And, but he gets it every. I don't yeah. care what's going on. I've seen on. it enough times. I'm like, he's probably got it. I'm like, yeah. yeah I mean, I should just it. trust him at this point. <laughs> I just trust just, him. I'm like, yeah, he's probably yeah. got it. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. He's clearly put a lot of practice into it. I mean, I, I saw this guy on like 150 hours past two weeks for about. Oh, uh, nice save. I mean, I, I think that was out, right? That, it that must far. have been. Daniel got a bit unlucky, so I think he might have cleared it when he followed yeah. through. It can't have been that far off a pinch in. This is Why crazy, though. The, the resets are just every single time for this guy. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter how difficult this the setup is, he's, he's got the reset if he wants it. And he's absolutely inside Daniel's head now because he's just flexing on oh, it. Oh, my. <laughs> he's, <sighs> he's turned this one around big time. Come on, yeah, side ball read. Yeah, there you go. No, you've... Uh, what? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no! That was never bouncing there. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what, I can I can call it because he's about to go up a game in this series. You know, he's played this game amazing, but that was terrible. <laughs> I, I like that as well. He's not even going for the kickoff because he wants to waste some time. He knows the only way Daniel's like really coming back here is if he goes for the kickoff and concedes in two seconds. So yeah. wasted a bit of time here. Confirms the win. Daniel. Oh, nice own goal actually. Yeah. That was very nice. On a laptop warming up, as well. Warming up the mechanics for the next game. Sick. We gotta watch that one again. I'm gonna make a bold bold prediction Ooh. here. I don't know I don't wanna keep calling you know, what these players are doing doing wrong, but the first player that goes for if, if anyone switched it up, the first player that goes for lots of bumps and demos in the series, they'll win. Um, as long as the other player doesn't switch uh, up. I, I can get behind that, yeah. In every, in every situation, I'm noticing like three different like bump patterns that you can go for, and it will always end up in a goal. Like Especially in uh, on Daniel's defense, because Nuapo's not doing anything to, to threaten the bump. He's having to, he, he can just stay still, um, and it, it opens up a lot of opportunities. But these guys... It's, I don't know whether it's not it's that they're not recognizing it or maybe they're just you know more comfortable to go for these you know plays on a defender net. I think it's because well, this is just a guess, but I think the reason that the top NA guys don't go for bumps as often is because the best players in NA don't do that, so everybody copies mm. the best players and they kind You're of right. all do a very clean play style of like you know aerials in offense, shadowing in defense, and you know aggressive challenges every now and then, but not a lot of physical play because they just don't the best players don't do it if the best players aren't doing it no one else is going to do it either whereas in You're this right. server i think the best players are and have been for a long time extremely aggressive off the ball so all the other players beneath them start doing that as well and it just like turns everyone into a fiend <laughs> off the ball yeah yeah definitely are you, are you saying on on european servers yeah but... european servers i mean just yeah. european players in general are definitely more physical and i think that's been the case for if not physical and definitely aggressive for years, back in the day, I remember I used to cast a lot of NA 1v1s where it would just be players taking turns dribbling at each other, flicking the ball, and then it's either a goal or a save, and then the other player tries to do the same thing. It would just be like a flick only 1v1. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. I mean, oh, that's an unlucky oh, bounce. That's unfortunate. But you're still going to get possession here. Yeah. And no one. on. Oh, I didn't like that. He's still going to score, actually. So maybe he's just better than me because that's. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fair enough. Yeah, you left it, but. Apparently it was bait. Also, that was a scenic route and a half from uh, Naipo to go to the ball here. He was gone. Yeah, they're playing so aggressively and so close to each other on the challenges. Um, a long shot would work. It would really work. Was... Yeah, I know that you like to mix in those Hang long shots just to keep oh. the opponent honest, to make sure yeah, that they more, don't Yeah, more so advance. recently, because I've, I've, I'm feeling good in ones yeah. um, past week, so it's what I do when I'm playing well. It's always a good strategy. Oh, look at that. Good bump, yeah, good bump. Well, that's what you asked for. You're getting it now. I think I'm surprised that my player's not more aggressive off the ball because it really would make sense, I think, for his playstyle especially, to just do a lot of pressure. You don't even have to, you know, commit for it. Just 
faked it. Little bits ah. of fakes every now and then, where he just drives towards Daniel and then goes and does his thing. Yeah, yeah, they've got to switch up. It's quite. It's been quite a. I don't know what to call it. It's just like quite a pre not predictable because obviously. Oh. No one, yeah, that's some good patience. Oh my wow. days! That is confident to just not jump into, the, not flip into the ball in his own goal line. Yeah. It's pretty fakey here, but uh, yeah, it's like you said earlier. I would love to see just one demo play. Naipo is just playing very clean Rocket League right now. He wants to beat Daniel at Rocket League, and he's, <laughs> he's oh doing it to be fair. God. Again, I was like, did he get the flip? Uh, in, the <laughs> replay, in the replay, it looks like he did, but maybe, I don't know. Perhaps it's the, the pink makes it look like he doesn't get it sometimes. I'm sure. Did you, this, is a, this is a bit of a thought. What do you think, like... Do you reckon the Middle Eastern players, because they, you know, have to... Oh, You're joking. Oh, my, oh. if you say that. Because you, because uh, obviously the Middle Eastern players have to play on high ping. Do you, do you think that they don't go for many bumps because sometimes they oh. don't connect? Oh, no, that's actually a great shot. Yeah, that that could definitely make sense. That's a kickoff goal back. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely harder to, to bump people. I guess, like, um, one thing I noticed at the Major, between, like, if you compare Falcons with, like, SSG V1 Moist, is that they go for less demos. I think they do a lot of like, Falcons do a lot of driving past like uh, the box and like threatening bumps and definitely bumping. Hold on, is that Moxie? Wait a second. <laughs> is that Moxie? Nah, fight? nah, we gotta look at the, uh, the speed on this one. Yeah, yeah too, too delayed, yeah. It's only 113 KPH. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was only that fast because obviously Daniel Twitch has his yeah, game, yeah. but. A Moxie flip could go in, you know, twice that speed without anyone touching it. So, True. got a lot of work there. No way that's a flip. There we go. Thank <laughs> God. I was going to say, Ooh. that's still a great attack. Oh, save. Wow, he transferred that one to an air dribble. Fair play. I'd love to Take hear the. Bump, 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 bump. Oh, he's go. doing it. He's doing it. Rails in the chat. He's Shock like, himself. Abjack says, Bumpy, it didn't, it, didn't, it didn't work. So he's going to be like, shut up, Rails. No. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible idea. Now look at what's happening. That's the goal. It's a big miss by Naipo there, he's big time beamed it. Unlike Daniel, he's going all in a lot. <laughs> mm. He's not thinking about the, the, you know, what if, what if I miss this? He doesn't, that thought doesn't cross his mind. Yeah. He's only thinking about I'm scoring. I mean, it's good to see that he's still going to go for it despite, you know, conceding off of a miss and a counter yeah. attack. But that that is the negative of going for these all-in players, these high mechanical, you know, high risk high reward players. You're going to get uh, scored on if it doesn't hurt. Nice. This looks scary. What a pre jump. Good read. What a save from Naipo as well in the chat. Daniel could really do with something here to um, get the advantage. <laughs> yeah, he's just not going for it. He doesn't want to. He's playing clean. <laughs> yeah. Fair play. Delayed appreciation on the what a save as well. Daniel is really oh. trying to focus on the game there. That is well a monster flick coming out of defense. He flicks it all the way from his corner to the you know, other opponent's box. Did well he as well. He's flying, flying yeah. forward without the, the ball cam to see. I think if Daniel was jumping earlier there, he probably would have bumped him. But after he saw where Daniel was, he thought, oh, well, I'll just hit it past him instead. Yeah, definitely. I mean, when when you go up for that ball and you're going a bit slower, you what you're doing is you're giving yourself options. Yeah. You can fake it, go for a low 50. You can... Wow. Wow. Okay. But not, not only is that a great save, that is a result and a half in terms of like where the ball's bounced. Well, he tried to, Might still be a tried goal. to demo Daniel here, actually. So It's not the place. It's not, yeah, it's not, you know, where you wanted it, but it is what you asked for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're getting there. We're getting there. Come on. <laughs> one, goal, no, uh, one goal advantage he's looking now is the time. But obviously, you know, some people in chat, they're going to, you know, think that. I'm saying to go for those bumps it's the only only thing you should do in ones. It's obviously not these guys have their own styles, but it's uh But you're mainly quite noticing a, like okay, a bump patterns, would be good against patterns, that. Yeah. Like where like that here, guy here, is. Here, yeah, there, there you go. go. That should yeah. be a goal, but he's jumped, so it's not a goal. Yeah, so that that's more what Jack means is like where the players are and like the fact that they're often stationary, particularly Daniel in defense, you've got to threaten it just to keep him moving because it makes him waste boost to accelerate away forces him out of position at times I mean nice the amount of times I saw you and Moxie just in awkward positions he's gone and done him here one goal difference that could be theories, game here yeah did Daniel have to go for this I think he probably did I don't I don't hate the challenge but the execution might have been a bit too high 
What's his go-to kickoff strat? Both players sticking to the standard. He's got no hands on this. It. Yeah. Technically, he's won it. He's got obsession off this, but this is a good position for Napo in, in terms of challenging. Oh, oh no wave way. dash. No, Daniel, you've messed up. Going, oh, he's not going to keep it up. He really did well there to keep it up with the wave dash, but... He did. Great comeback. Fair play. You know, 4-2... Loss. It's not a terrible result coming out of a, a laptop with 144 hertz. You gotta give him credit for that. Yeah, both players had adequate copium here with the high ping in the laptop. <laughs> like it was, <laughs> exactly. it was gonna be a fair loss either way. But GGs, great stuff. GGs.